What is up guys, Jake from OneHive here with the next war recap video. Uh, this one is not going to be terribly exciting for you guys. Uh, the bases, even the ones that are shown here, are not are not great. Uh, this was an, I don't know how we got matched up with these guys. Uh, their bases were not developed. You'll see we let one Town Hall 10 get away from us there, but then a couple three starred. They have like 16 Town Hall 10, uh, all with with uh, infernos but just not good bases uh, you'll see everything you know down low cleaned up uh, and, and then again several uh, of their lower uh, town hall tents and even all the way up to their number three rex got uh, so you know not a not a fun war but a good one to to practice some different things on and do have some good uh some good attacks to show you guys just keep in mind these bases are not that developed so uh what it's the best i got you know i can't i can't control what bases they have uh, here's Rex just ripping through a base. Uh, obviously a terribly easy clan castle or just drop a minion and the entire thing is empty. Uh, just brings him over to the side like, like we normally do. Nothing special here. I do like the way uh, Rex killed this uh, CC. A little different. Uh, just bring it over to the side and, and the key to this is getting it in a nice tight ball. And I think a lot of people that try this would just go ahead and send the Valk in. Uh, but you've got to distract just like anything else. You'll see he sends three uh, barbs there and then boom the the Valk is is not being targeted and she has time to do her whirlwind and take it all out So that's the key to that if you want to do it get them nice and tight and then still almost like you're about to deploy witches Give them a distraction give them something to, else to look at then put your Valk in and uh, she'll be able to take them all out in one swing uh, obviously a very exposed uh, AQ just dropping his heroes nothing else nothing else needed uh, to take that out and then here you come with the with the Lalunian. Uh, just sort of a not a spam but I mean the the basis the pathing on it you can just go right through it in, in a straight line basically uh, connect the dots with with defenses a nice heal or excuse me nice freeze placement there over the inferno then coming in from the top side with another uh, lava hound more balloons and as you can see it's uh, that last freeze there is going to stop the air defense and the inferno tower and the expo I mean just high value freezes uh, and lots of balloons there to clean up and as they take out the last few defenses that can even hurt them we'll start to fast forward because this one is just over just wreck this base uh, again not the best base but hey what are we going to do it's what we got guys so they're going to we'll fast forward a little bit faster here as they take out the last few defenses and then it's just clean up time didn't get that uh, last lava hound busted uh, would have been a little faster but no, no need no matter it Plenty of, plenty of troops, plenty of time to clean it all up. So nice attack, Rex. All right, moving along. Plow did a really nice attack and just ran out of time. Uh, but I really like the attack, so I want to show it something different. Uh, this is the what I'm talking about when it gives us a chance to experiment, do different things. Uh, again, not a good base, but uh, so Plow, look, he got, he's got 10 Valks, sort of a, I guess, a Go Vape or whatever you want to call it. I guess it's not a Go Vape. There's no P.E.K.K.A., but whatever. Uh, just sends a few hogs in, gets the clan castle lord, brings them up top. Uh, normal stuff here, nothing, nothing special. In fact, we'll fast forward a little bit to get them up there. Uh, just drops his kill squad, which is wizards, barbs, queen, normal, normal kill squad. Uh, gonna take all those, uh, all those wizards out. Uh, witches wreck uh, defensive wizards because they're they're so slow shooting, and they're gonna target those witches or those skeletons that are always out front. Uh, drops a few golems that. Single Inferno locks on to that level 2 Single Inferno, locks onto that golem and makes really short work of it. Uh, has already got everything down on it besides the last golem item right there. It's about to go down. Uh, drops a jump spell with witches coming in, heroes coming in, uh, trying to get to, to that uh, Single Inferno as quick as possible. And here come all the Valks. Now they get into the core and do a great job here, but man, Single Infernos, they two of them like that, he loses a lot of Valks in this core. I think that's probably what kept him from getting a three-star. It was a great idea. Valks really thrive in a big open area like that with no walls to deal with. Uh, but you'll see here, as, it, as the last Inferno goes down, he's only got a few Valks at the bottom and a few to the right over here. So really uh, expensive inside that core to, to get it taken out. But does a good job. And he has some nice back-end loons here uh, coming in. Uh, drops a, a giant there to distract those Archer Towers, which was great. Uh, and just a few a few balloons there to take those out. Trying to wait till that last air defense goes down before he sends the rest of them. He goes down there. That heal just sort of too late. Uh, maybe a different heal composition. I don't know. Maybe another rage in the core. I don't. I don't know. It was so close. Uh, just a, a tweak or two would have to have gotten him the three star. Because uh, you'll see right there, the last thing that can hurt his balloon goes down that Tesla. And uh, there's only one defense left, and it's way over here on the side. Uh, this cannon. So or excuse me, two cannons there. 
Uh, but just runs out of time. No, no troops left to clean up, uh, but still a very nice attack and something different. So good job, Plow. All right, what are we looking at next here? Let's look at BP. This was a nice attack. Uh, taking on their number 10. Again, I'm showing you the best bases that, I, that they had, guys. So, uh, you know, again, not the, not a great base. Uh, Premi, uh, no good double bomb spots, but that's awesome because, uh, uh, you know, he's not even really doing a ground attack. So it didn't – that part of the base being bad didn't really matter. Uh, look at what, what we've got here, though. Two air defenses, the Queen and a Tesla, all in one location. So that's awesome. Uh as far as for BP, not for the for the defender. That's a terrible setup because all he has to do is send these few golems in, uh, heroes backing it up, and he's going to get both of those air defenses, the clan castle killed, and that inferno tower dead, all with just a few golems in his in his heroes, basically a, a small kill squad. Uh, he's got uh, two uh, uh, lava hounds left, one in the CC and one more in the bag, and you know, 20 balloons to deal with the rest of the base. So I think you know what's coming here. Uh, just starts targeting the defenses as he sends those Lava Hounds in. Uh, they're going to work their way through. Uh, that that single in front tower is going to bust that Lava Hound pretty quick, but then he smartly uses that Rage there uh, to get into the air defense and to Rage those pups to let them do a little work. Then he sends from the other side the next Lava Hound uh, and more balloons, just keeping them raised, just keeping them moving, uh, moving in that sort of counterclockwise motion. Now you'll see the ones from this side are starting to back up the new balloons, uh, and it's going to be it's going to be all over. Nice job sending those two up there to that Archer Tower. That cuts down on a lot of travel time for your big group of balloons as they make their way through to the last air defense and that Wizard Tower he has a rage for. Uh, so really, really nice job. You'll see he's got a few minions that he spread around. A few lava pups doing some work, and then just the balloons. Uh, but you know, the the luckily the high HP buildings are all right here in the core, and the balloons are there. So really, that's what made him able to have enough time is the fact that all those uh, high HP buildings were close enough that the the balloons could get to them relatively quickly. Uh, had those been spread all over the base, probably would have ran out of time. But uh, gets the job done. So really nice attack, BP. Good job, man. Let's check out one more. Uh, town Hall 9, uh, this is their highest Town Hall 9. Uh, Underground took it out for us. Really nice attack, really nice uh, holo. Uh, just a good old school holo attack. Uh, you know, he's got those two cord air defenses and then two on the left and the right, none on the top or bottom. Uh, so he, the Underground just takes out those sides of the bases. Numbers look good, deployment's good. Uh, just really takes all the defenses out nicely and gets the clan castle or obviously pulling double duty for the balloons. Uh, so that's always nice. Uh, and as you'll see there, everything pretty much gets taken out. Uh, he's got that cannon there, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, then a very exposed queen. Doesn't need a golem, so doesn't bring a golem. I was so proud to see that. A lot of times people just sort of get in the habit of bringing that golem to take the queen out. Uh, not needed here. Just drops a witches, a few distract barbs for distraction, a few wizards to create a funnel, and then heroes, and they're going to take out the CC troops and the queen very easily. And then here come the hogs. He set them in two groups in case there was bombs up there. That was smart. Uh, that small group of hogs would trigger the bombs. The big group wouldn't have to worry about it. But they weren't there. Uh, then just starts dropping heals into the core. Uh, again, not a whole lot of defenses that, that are going to do a lot of damage to his hogs. So really easy to keep them up, even with those skeletons and king beating on them. Uh, another heal goes down, and he's got an extra one still. So the hogs are doing a lot of work inside the heals, how you, just how you want them to be. Uh, the kill squad's making their way into the court. She's going to take out that king here in a moment. Uh, and then right there, the hogs are going to go around and do the last few defenses. Uh, the king's going down in the core. Uh, this this is shaping up to be a really really easy three star. As you see, he's already dropping cleanup troops and getting uh, getting the outside buildings cleaned up his, as his hogs join the cleanup and get the easy three star. So very nice attack underground. Uh, good job, man. All right, that was it again. Sorry guys, uh, not the most exciting attacks I know, not the most difficult bases, but hey, it is what it is. It's what we got dealt. Uh, so we just uh, dealt with it. You know, a lot of town hall tends to deal with, so not as many three stars as you normally see, but. Uh, still some very good attacks. Good job to everybody at One Hive. Uh, good try to Brown's backers. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.